Good morning student, myself Akshada Khatpe. Today we are here to learn about the new, uh, new topic in science that is the metals and non-metals. So, uh, day, in day to day life so many things is around us, chair is there, table is there, in the at home also so many things are there, but we do not know which are the metals and which are the non-metals, but how we can, uh, we can differentiate that into the metals and non-metals with the help of their physical property and chemical property. So, today we are going to learn about the physical properties of metals and non-metals. Here I have the element, how we can differentiate it with the help of their physical and chemical properties into the metals, non-metals and other elements. Okay. Now, move towards the next point, first properties of metal. The first property of the metal is the lustrous property. What is mean by the lustrous property? If the, that thing is having the shiny surface means what? That thing is having the lustrous property. Here you can see the example of the gold, silver and the aluminum. Okay. They are having the shiny surface means what? They are showing the shiny surface means they are having the lustrous property. Okay. Here I have the spoon of aluminum. You can see it is having the shiny surface. Copper is again having the shiny surface and the aluminum wire I have you can see it is showing the shiny surface. So, here we learn the metals are the lustrous in nature and non-metal. You can see the examples of the non-metal here they are having the dull surface. They are not showing the shiny surface like the metal. I have the examples here bangles which is made up from the plastic. Okay, it is having the dull surface, it is not having the shiny surface like the metals. So, metals are a lustrous in nature and non-metals are non-lustrous in nature. That is the first property. Now, second properties of the metals and non-metals is hardness. Hardness means what? If I am trying to cut this iron piece with the help of knife, I am not able to cut that iron piece easily easily I am not able to cut. Why? Because that iron metal is very hard. Okay. And here the example of the non-metal you can see here. If I trying to cut the non-metals, I can easily cut. I can easily cut with the help of knife. For example, chalk. We can easily break the chalk into the small, small pieces. So, the metals are hard in nature and non-metals are soft in nature that is the second property. Then third property of the metals and non-metals is malleability. Malleability means what? The thing which are having the ability to convert into the thin sheet that properties of the metal is known as a malleability. You can see for this purpose we require some material here aluminum wires and the iron nail and coal and some chalk you can take. Okay. So, after hammering on this all thing, you can see here the iron wires and that iron nails, they are changed into the shape. They are changed into the copper wires and that iron nail changed into the shapes. But here you can see the coals and that they are get broken into the small piece. Means what? They are, if we are trying to convert that non-metals into the thin sheet, we are not able they get broken into the small, small pieces. So, from this activity, we can understand metals are malleable in natures and non-metals are non-malleable in natures. Now, next properties of metals and non-metals is ductility. For this ductility property, I have the small iron piece here. If I trying to draw the wire from that piece, I can easily draw on the wire with the help of that machine. Okay. But what about the non-metals? If I am trying to draw on the wires from the non-metals, I am not able to draw. On. It again get broken into the small, small pieces. So, metals are showing the ductility property and non-metals are not showing. Means, the metals are ductile in nature and non-metals are non-ductile in nature. That is why aluminum wire, a copper wire, these kinds of wires we are using for the electrical appliances. 
okay that is the ductility property now next property of the metal is the sonority property sonority means what sono means what sound okay the thing which are having the pro to produce that specific sound okay but here i have the ringing bell here if i start ringing we can hear the sound from that okay but if i trying to produce the sound from the non metals we cannot so from this activity and from this we can understand metal are sonorous in nature and non metals are non sonorous in nature i have the thing which is made up from the metal here if i trying to produce the sound from this it can produce the sound means the metal are sonorous in nature and what about the non metals non metal are non sonorous in nature now next property is the conduction of heat for this i required one iron rod here if i start giving heat at the one end of one point of the iron rod the another point of that iron rod it get automatically hot why because heat is conducted from one point to another point of that rod we can see here the rise in temperature okay means what that rod is conducting heat from this point to this point and what about the non metal then if i trying to give to the non metal the heat get concentrated at one point and it cannot be conducted from one point to another point like a metals okay so that's why this non metals we are using in a pressure cooker and in frying pan to make the non metallic handle non metallic handle that's why heat is conducted in the metal only it is not conducted in non metal so from this property we can understand the metals are good conductor of heat and non metals are bad conductor of heat okay i hope you understand this properties now last property of the metals and non metals is conduction of electricity conduction of electricity means what it's conducting the electricity from one point to another point okay for this we are going to perform one activity here i have the electrical circuit in that electrical circuit i used one battery and led bulb and i kept this two end free so on that uh, in on that free end i can place the material which uh, whatever material we had here in the table okay i have sulfur coal iron and the copper now first put that iron thing into the circuit you can see the bulb start glowing means what the electricity it conducted from this point to this point and from that iron nail also it conducted that's why the bulbs are started so we can say the iron is good conductor of electricity second one is the sulfur if i trying to put the sulfur in the circuit and after that if you saw here the bulb are not glowing means what it is the bad conductor of electricity then coal piece put the coal piece in the electrical circuit bulb are not started that means what coal is the bad conductor of electricity and then last one is the copper wire put that copper wire in this electrical circuit you can see here bulbs are started means what the copper is again good conductor of electricity so what we can what we can understand from this activity the thing which are good conductor of electricity that are metals so metals are good conductor of electricity and non metals are bad conductor of electricity i have an a simple circuit here i will show you how the electricity is conducted through the metals and non metals now see here for the simple circuit we required one battery and led bulbs and wires okay keep this end free keep this end free so we can fix the material here so now see i have the iron pin here if i am trying to put this iron pin into the circuit you can see here it is conducted or not you can see here now you can see 
बल्ब आर स्टार्टेड मीन्स वॉट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आर कंडक्टेड फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट सो दीज आर द मेटल्स मेटल्स आर गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आई हैव एन कॉपर स्पून हियर आई विल शो यू हाउ द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज कंडक्टेड फ्रॉम दिस कॉपर स्पून यू कैन सी द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लाइट इट्स शोइंग मोर कंपेयर टू दैट सो द कॉपर इज अगेन द गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ electricity we saw the metals example here now see the example of the non metal okay this is the non metal i have if i trying to put this non metal in the circuit you can see here but pass started no it is not started means what the metals are the good conductor of electricity and non metals are bad conductor of electricity okay so today we learn about this physical property but with the help of this physical property we cannot differentiate the metals and non metals why because some exceptional cases are there they are showing the properties of metals also and non metals also for example suppose metals is there they are showing the property of the non metal for example you can see here sodium and potassium metal i can easily cut the sodium and potassium with the help of knife means they are very soft in structure but we saw the property of physical property of the metals in that they said the metals are very hard but here we can see here the sodium and potassium is very soft so it's showing the property of the non metal okay now second we can see here the examples of the metals gold copper aluminum they are solid in structure at a room temperature but at the last we can see here mercury why the mercury are stored in the bottle because it is a liquid in state at room temperature okay but others metals are solid but mercury is liquid in state at a room temperature that's why the mercury always stored in the bottle now next is a examples of the non metals but they are showing the properties of metals here iodine 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 are showing the properties of the metals iodine showing the lustrous property it's having the shiny surface like the metal then next graphite graphite having the shiny surface as well as it is a hard like a metal okay so these are some exceptional cases we saw here so from this module you can understand with the help of the physical property we cannot differentiate the metals and non metals from the element for that purpose we required and we should learn the chemical properties of the metals and non metals also i hope you understand this all point so today we learn the physical properties of metals and non metals in that we learn the metals are metals are shiny means they are showing the lustrous property they are hard they are the malleable in nature they are ductile in nature they are good conductor of heat as well as they they are good conductor of electricity also but non metals they are non lustrous in nature as well as they are non sonorous in nature and what about the malleability and ductility they are non malleable as well as they are non ductile in nature and the last property again they are bad conductor of heat as well as they are bad conductor of electricity also okay so i hope you understand this all point in the next uh, in the next modules we will learn about the chemical properties of metals and non metals thank you